Hello, good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is around, uh, I think, 1.20ish, uh, 1.20ish or 1.15, okay, a.m. So I am doing already like two videos are already done, but I wanted to do a bonus episode. As you can see, I'm facing the camera after, uh, I think, one month or so. And I would like to uh, talk to you, brother to brother. This is not going to be a review. So this is like morning thoughts for people, updating my life, you know, answering some of your questions and talk about new releases, stuff like the fragrance, my collection, my journey. And uh, since I'm nearing 100,000, you guys are keeping me, you know, updated more than I am looking at it. The numbers are not like everything, right? But numbers are also something because when it's hard earned, you don't have to buy your subs and you do <laughs> 4,000 something odd videos and you get that after seven, eight years, you know, uh, of your journey. It feels special. So I'm waiting for that time. You know, it's I, I, I want to start with that point. Okay. And I'd like to say big thanks to all of you, those who keep commenting and keep, you know, uh, keeping me updated and say like, hey, bro, you are so close and you deserve it so much. You know, your kindness make me happy, make my heart happy. You know, I feel like my work is, uh, you know, like meaningful, you know. Uh, yeah, to many people, it's like backdated, talk too much, same room, same style, boring. But I like to give you, keep giving you services and talk about perfumes. Uh, this is my love. This is my work. This is my everything. Okay, at this current moment. So thank you so much. Thank you so much for all the love and for all the support. I really am looking forward to it. It's it's been a very slow uh, progress because I let let me tell you. You know, I'm gonna do a long video perhaps, but just wanna share a few things. Okay. Uh, the thing is, I was working like a madman since 2016. Every day I upload. That's how I reached those numbers, 4,000 something videos, you know, nobody would do all those videos. But uh, since I started the journey, my first phase was falling in love with perfumes, you know, like infatuated, then falling in love, then started collecting, then started watching more and more reviews and getting more deep inside the game, right? Many of you are like me, right? And at one point, since I have some collection, I wanted to do reviews. I wanted to be excited and I want to be, you know go with the gang you know <laughs> so part of the community and i started in 2016 and and if i count 2016 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 eight years i count eight years um and these eight years i uh, maybe if i did in my own language perhaps i have gone over um like hundred thousand by now or way before um, because Bangladesh, we have a lot of Bengali spoken people in Kolkata. They also speak. So Bengali, if you do reviews in your own language, there are a lot of views. In Bangladesh, if I did in Bengali, I would get a lot of views. But my target was international audience because English is an universal language. You can understand if you watch me. My own people can understand. So everybody can understand. It's not that I am belittling my own people or anything that, oh, I'm not going to do it in Bengali. I do. I have a small channel also. Another channel where I get time, I do reviews for just Bangladeshi people in Bengali, um, but it, it becomes very tight schedule because I am always working on my three platform on Facebook. I have three groups that I run, Prakkom Bangladesh, Goodfellas Fragrances Bangladesh, and Perfume Marketplace Bangladesh. These are by God's grace running really well. Members are getting like more and more. So, so far it's been fantastic. So I use, I open another page on Facebook once called Joy Amin fragrance reviews, but I could not continue. I did Joy Amin mean, eats like a, a food review. I could not continue because it consumes so much time. You have to go to places, and when you work with perfumes, just like running your YouTube and then your decan page and your interest and also marketplace, uh, that consumes all the time. Rest of the time, I sleep and and I do my other things. Go out, and drive once in a while. So. It's been a long journey, but I feel, you know, I saw there were certain reviewers, suddenly their, you know, subscribers jumped and people say they bought suppress. I don't know. I don't know. I never really knew. But if you spend money, then you can get like those. But one of the things on YouTube, many people do not know. Let me share some facts of YouTube. When you do, you get monetization, you learn about these things. Uh, first thing is many people are unsure that when they start a channel or any journey, they feel like, they're going to get successful overnight. What is success? They're going to get popularity, going to get the subscribers overnight, and they're going to just jump in popularity or they'll make thousands of dollars. It doesn't happen like that. On most part, you know, unless you can go viral, like you are really popular and you really have high class videos, like, you know, the top YouTube channels or something like a Supercar, Supercar Blondie, right? Her name. She 
like reviews cars fast cars or maybe those dubai kids right the brother and sister so they do differently like things like jeremy did differently there he brought women he wore suits right and he is the most successful in terms of numbers because he gets the views and he can do a video absolutely nothing he just can stare at the camera like this and he can get like million views that's the fact you know numbers so uh, someone told me like joy maybe if you want to get successful quickly uh, maybe you can do videos like you can one of the friends told me uh, take an aventus bottle and throw it from the rooftop and break it and film it and upload it that will start off controversy and a lot of people hate you but you'll get the numbers and everybody will talk about you become the talk of the town and i told him brother with a smile uh, i with all due respect i respect your um you know <laughs> concern i respect your view and i really care that you care for my you know channel but if i do that i'll lose respect and to me respect is the most important thing you know like honor you know if you don't have um badi alud honor and glory okay <laughs> so if you don't have honor you know what's the use of doing work you can get viral for wrong reasons you can be popular let's say uh, maybe you know like who's a wrong person bill cosby i don't want to be bill cosby i don't want to be doing uh, some stuff that has nothing to do with perfumes with all due respect all the reviewers that do like a uh, sexiest fragrance of all time you know don't mean to mock anybody but i i cannot stand it you know like everyone can learn you know from their experience with time but some people just don't polish their english i don't know why and it's not to insult them but perhaps you know it sounds so bad and then you see uh, some of the titles some of the female reviewers write women killers and i heard of lady killers before that was a term but what is women killers okay it's not like these people do not speak in english they live in us and they write like that and then panty droppers this and that when i see these i feel these have nothing to do with perfumes because perfumes are such a beautiful creation they're something with art culture your taste you know daily life and uh, these are beautiful things these are uh, enjoyment it's perhaps you know back in the days we saw jeremy and we think like hey if you have language alarm you are just 10000 more sexier than ever it's true on certain occasion but you have to dress nicely you have to shower you have to look presentable you have to have confidence a lot of other factors are also important you have to have like when i came to bangladesh i brought this hairstyle you know this is my own hair so i do cut my own hair i'm not bragging about anything but nowadays i change a little bit you know i'm trying to get into like a little bit of a <laughs> redneck see so so i brought it here and the people used to stare at me i used to have this weird haircut like a uh, mohawk and then people in bangladesh in 2016 didn't see those uh people were normal <laughs> right nowadays i see a lot of people have this haircut and it's a trend right so when you bring something interesting people look but fragrances only is not good enough this is the reality you can wear the most expensive perfume aventus some ladies if you ask them they will be like nothing you know it's okay i guess and when you hear hear that your your dreams will shatter right i am talking today so i feel like you know whatever the journey has been i'm very happy about it i'm li i'm liking whatever god gives me i'm liking it so many people told me like you have 4000 videos you have so many millions of views imagine you had that monetization from the beginning 2016 you would be rich by now uh i will tell you one thing you know i really feel we believe in one thing not we i believe in one thing particularly that if you believe in you know sometimes i'm not the most religious guy but i do believe in certain things what i really believe is you'll get what you deserve on right time you know and it hasn't been easy for me to accept like i do such hard work and i did so much more work than many other reviewers but why am i getting like not the views i did cover so many perfumes that no other reviewers touched you know i bought so many fragrance interesting ones hidden gems cheap ones powerhouse i review many types right then i realized like you know it's perhaps not in your destiny you know maybe you did a, such a good review but it's not viral it's okay no problem sometimes i'll tell you something dark uh, some of our artists in bangladesh like actors singers models they're getting frustrated and they are taking their own lives you know and this is sad this is sad reality not here throughout the world depression is real and why people get depressed because they don't feel they are appreciated they don't feel like they can talk to someone they have so many issues they are not feeling that they are being treated fairly or right see if someone could talk to them you know if, i wish i could talk to these people if i knew them i lost some of my friends also in fragrance community you know so sorry a uh, little bit goosebumps you know when i thought about chris you know mr siaj i miss my brother you know i i really miss this guy uh, whenever i was down this guy would reach out to me and say hey bro 
if you need to talk to someone you can ring me you know you can call me you can talk he always provide a support but he's not here okay so this kind of gems people just sometimes don't feel appreciated but then you have to battle it out it's about how tough you are this is such a wrong concept you know uh, like uh, it sounds cruel like nobody is kind enough nobody is always gonna be asking you how you are people will take they will follow you when you're happening and uh, when you are successful people will follow you if you're not if you're down people will just like forget you right this is how life goes but what i'm coming back to is that if these people you know i wish i could talk to them say that you are being appreciated by the people who love you not everybody's gonna love you you feel me like if you are watching me and you like my work even though i don't reply so many comments i don't always reach out or you know get back to your face, facebook message but i do my work you know that keeps me busy but if you keep me in your prayers if five of my well-wishers since the 2016 say hey bro thanks for watching i have so many subscribers i always see the comments if they are returning viewers and they watch me on big tv they send me a screenshot their son is holding the perfume bottle that i recommended these things made my journey special you know that's the moment i realized hundred thousand is number i want but maybe i some people say you deserve millions maybe but god knows best right so i don't want to drag it too much what i'm trying to say is i'm very happy with right now my understanding realization with age wisdom is increasing so i am learning every day thank you so much you guys are the best you guys make me who i am today and also i enjoy doing this as long as i am appreciated so moving on to the next one next up i'm sorry i got a little bit emotional talking about chris those who knew chris uh, he was a fantastic soul and um he was so excited about perfumes he was in the army you know he was on the finest most good looking guys ever man i always miss this guy you know if you ever go to his channel called mr siash i'll leave a link below his channel is there you can wa watch him but i knew him personally he is still my facebook friend and i always will be his friend okay i always pray for him so i got i get a little bit emotional thinking of him sometimes okay so moving on to the next one uh, i wanted to update this is an update video for those who care i have been down with severe sickness in 22 22nd december uh, 2023 end of last year and now it's what april 2024 it's sound gonna sound crazy but four months exactly four months i was very very unwell and i keep saying it people didn't understand that like you're always sick i understand some of you are concerned some of you don't care some of you find it annoying some of you mocking me like this guy i read a comment the world is a mean place sometimes you know one guy said i don't think this guy was ever fit even in his youth as if they know me they grew up with me so there are people who are trolls and i understood with time you don't have to address the trolls you don't have to address people like who are haters for no reason um there are a lot of reasons why people hate you one guy from india i don't want to take his name you know he recently did this thing that he keeps commenting like 12 comments on different videos and i saw like he's calling me by name name calling cursing and i'm like what did i do to him that he got so upset then i was trying to find the name in his his channel is actually by his name he's from india so i found his uh, facebook profile only one name <laughs> and i went to messenger just to knock him then i saw he sent me so many messages in 2016 he called me video call audio call and i never saw it there could, there could be you know you miss out a lot of messages because people message you it's not possible sometimes to attend all of them right and perhaps it got him upset that i didn't respond to him so from uh he used to call me like elder brother dada dada means like big brother so much respect big fan here and then he started calling me names like really the horrible things and i was like i i gave him also full and i blocked him from my channel but i realized one thing if people respect you you know they'll always respect you you know if even if you do not maybe respond to them or mm, feedback or something they will always respect you perhaps they'll be upset but they'll never ever curse at you they'll never insult you if they could insult you they never actually ever care or loved you or respected you okay so this is my understanding you can feel differently and that's why i realize these people are not important you have to march forward you have to focus on your work uh, one of my uncles used to say priorities the most important thing in a man's life is priority and this is discipline priority like not army but any man you have to know daily what to do what are the things you have to take care of you have to go to work you have to keep everything like you know like how to say within discipline like what what to do like i have to do my laundry i have to take care of my car i have to pay my taxes you know bills and stuff so you have to have that priority right so nowadays 
I go with priority. I go first thing I go is my videos if I can. And I do the first thing whenever I can the videos, do the videos, I upload it. Okay. So that will get me views, earning end of the month. Then I focus on my decant business, which I also do. And many people seem to hate that. Like you do decanting. How can you trust you? Such dumb talk. Uh, if I buy a perfume, it's a problem. If I sell a perfume, it's a problem. So you cannot trust anybody. It's a trust issue that you have. What I'm going to do? How I'm going to help you? If you cannot be believe that is not my condition, that's your condition, you know? <laughs> so I'm sorry. I get a little bit upset when I hear these like such blunt <laughs> comment, you know, like uh, they say, uh, one guy said, I reviewed a perfume from Bangladeshi brand and he said, oh, he got these perfumes for free. None of them are good. It must be sponsored. He must be paid. That guy did not pay me. So without knowing facts, people write these things. So you face a lot of things when you do content, open a channel, then you feel how people behave and you feel not that people are donating in your life. They are not paying for you and they still judge you. If you give them for free, they will say, I did not like your review. I want my refund back. So this is how the world is. Not just ungrateful. Uh, sometimes hateful right so you have to go layer by layer you know many people cannot take that and i became i feel much better than before much stronger but sometimes still i'm scared to see comments you know it bothers me when i hear a mean comment read a mean comment it bothers me you know i did a review with so much love and i get hatred for it hey because if people have personal issue with me a lot of people they just keep writing random comments so you cannot make everybody happy that's okay someone told me if you have haters a lot of people hate on you. They talk about you. They, you know, biatch about you. That means you are successful. I don't really feel that's the reality because if you're hated by everybody, that means that that success is not really a good success. That means that you should stop and see what you're doing wrong. But if majority people, they feel your work is okay, it's helpful to the community, they will care for you. They'll ask you how you've been doing. So I was talking about sickness. Four months of sickness I took unbelievable that four months i had to go back to back antibiotics and i had no other option because in bangladesh some of you say he spends so much money on perfumes why doesn't he go for a decent living i do decent living i eat i spend a lot of money on food but here the medical system let me tell you a little bit i can compare i can i was didn't live in usa but i lived in malaysia and i lived here so the comparison wise the health sector just like any other sector are super corrupted you know doctors sometimes don't have a degree I mean, they do have a degree, but there's a fake certificate, perhaps, or fake degree. Some of them are so corrupted, they don't even want to listen to you. If you go attend them, first thing they want to do is they want to get you admitted to the hospital for one week, and they say, you need an operation. Everywhere in where I live, and this is like one or two hospitals are different. They are super expensive ones, like literally you're talking about hundreds and thousands of dollars. Yeah, I cannot afford that. Honestly speaking, I don't have insurance, like in Bangladesh, no such thing. So I do my YouTube thing. I don't do a job. So I don't have health insurance, right? But in Malaysia, as a student, even when I used to study, we used to have medical insurance. Most of the normal illness medication they would cover in our university. Even when I was working, I had uh, we had a hospital called Hospital Islam. I took membership, you know. So whenever I used to go for dental, whatever, I used to get top-notch service, and they would give me exactly what I needed. Great doctors, they would talk to me. Just give you an example. If you have dental problem you know dentist if you attend that's one of the most scary trip to uh, any hospital for any guy right and i am traumatized because since my childhood i had dental problem once i fell and one of my tooth broke this is one of my uh, biggest pain in the life i had a lot of operations i had a cap like they put then i used to have all the time like injection all scary experience like the dentist kind of movie and I was always reluctant to go to doctors unless I have to really extract. And one day I went to that hospital and the doctor, lady doctor, she's very young. She just graduated. She talked to me throughout the whole operation procedure. Like, how are you feeling today? What did you have for lunch? And how was your day? And she's like, you're scared of your dental operation, aren't you? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, so lady, when are you going to do the extraction? You know, I am waiting. And when are you going to put the injection? She's like, it's all done. I'm like, what? excuse me she's like no i put a little bit of a like a what do you call that numbing sort of a gel they put and then the pundi injection i felt nothing absolutely nothing throughout the whole procedure 15 to 20 minute procedure finished they took 150 ringgit that's it that's it i came out i took the medication i took all the things um, required and i never had to go back no issue i have the same problems in bangladesh i go into dental the doctor saw the thing and he went for without checking he said you need root canaling 
it's an expensive procedure uh, so i'm going to suggest this i'm like but you didn't even ask me what the issues are so these are the problems people are here for money the necessity like of money or the need of money made people very desperate and corrupted everywhere from top to the bottom everybody is corrupted and i say everybody you come and live here then you say hardly you'll find people well you're de dealing with people in work life or market nobody is going to be nobody's going to be honest with you if uh, let's say a product i go to shopping mall right sometimes some of the shopping malls they have a fixed price price uh, sticker like this you see they have this is i think from uh, one of the shops here they have price tag right many shops they put price tag like double or triple you know then you have to bargain and sometimes there's no price tag sometimes you don't even know it's original or not a lot of issues so my whole point is people say why don't you go for health checkup this it scares me if you happen to be from bangladesh patriotism doesn't mean you say everything is good well it's not corruption is not good women rights uh, lack of it is not good you're destroying the country the environment you're taking over the land where there's trees hills and you're cutting them off and you gaining like the power and you know like you're just taking over the land uh, by your corrupted power these are not good i'm never proud of it our money laundering our country is supposed to be so rich a lot of these corrupted boards a lot of these powerful people who are in power they steal money and then they take the money and go to other countries like usa singapore and they become the richest people this is what's happening in bangladesh i don't usually share this because i do fragrance reviews i don't have the taste to talk about it people have no manners on the road no lane i mean if you drive i love driving i never had any accident in malaysia i came here two accidents both faults of one driver he came and hit me and broke my headlights and my bumper another one the rickshaw puller or the trisha fell because he got stuck on my back rear bumper so these are the things you know in like traumatize me i am now scared to drive because there's not enough lights people cross the road like crazy there's no system here at all and you get stuck in jam for hours you know if you have diabetes you'll be stuck so all these things mean one thing that i could not take care of my health you know because i have diabetes i do have bad uh, habits of eating a lot of sugar because i love sweet stuff i love donuts i love uh, you know like those things you know like secret recipe so <laughs> it's not funny but i'm trying to control i'm trying to walk but you know the whole sickness the diabetes if you have it will link to everything i had the problem you know like the sugar problem means and the bladder and the, the kidney got expanded so yeah i did not feel like doing works uh, i was very depressed i went end of the year i went to one of the cities and i took one week break the worst thing of that time was when i was doing the video after i came back it was not getting views or dads the youtube numbers fell just like that and it crashed since that time until this you know one year plus my earnings have not been good i was earning double the money that i'm then i'm earning right now i don't know if it's them they're giving less money but the youtube ads are much less so i am still you know having to do the work because i have to buy the perfumes to review i have to get uh, up every day think of an idea and if i don't have any sales i don't have money incoming it's very difficult to you know stay motivated because bitter truth without money there is just no life i mean you cannot buy stuff you cannot eat nice you cannot go places you cannot buy nice clothes so i decided now the last part and i'll finish that yeah since i'm feeling better my voice is getting i had a massive tonsil problem okay here and when you have tonsil that you know you have to either have an operation and get rid of it then it will solve permanently but i'm scared of operations i did not go so i was taking medication then salt water honey it took a very long time <clears throat> now i can talk i can smell my nose was blocked can you imagine for one month plus i cannot smell properly you know doing this work and whenever i used to smell like let's say something strong when you have a um, cold and you smell stuff it will damage your nose it will injure your nose and you start coughing that happened a lot in my last few months of reviews i still did not stop because i have to make money um nobody will pay for me you know uh, so i would like to say thanks you know uh, thanks to first of all god i did have <laughs> anger issues with him i sometimes said why why me why so much sickness you know i don't like that i have problem with my left eye now uh, vision problem when i drive uh, sometimes this becomes blur you know and without my specs i am practically blind i cannot see even six feet okay so yeah everything you know bit by bit you know it really made my life difficult so currently what i'm doing is i decide enough is enough i bought many fragrances i bought watches because i love this game 
So even if you buy hundred dollars, hundred dollars, they are expensive, right? And I decided I'm gonna cut down on expense a little bit. I'm gonna sell off some perfumes and get some fun back. And then perhaps I will make space and I donate a lot of my clothing, you know, a lot of my clothes I don't wear. So one shelf full of clothes, I gave it away and I'm buying new stuff. So that fits me, you know, or newer. So I feel uplifted. So I'm trying to be positive. And I like to tell you one thing that if you do not know man's life reality, you, you can conclude a lot of things. You can say a lot of things, but not everybody's life is bed of roses, you know. And then when you talk about other reviewers, I'll tell you, uh, maybe you do not know the reality. Sometimes I hear bashing on a uh, review like Ashton. Ashton and me used to talk, you know, one time, but nowadays we don't talk much, but I consider him as my brother. And even if you're not a brother or friend ever, but I always like his work. I think he's the currently the only reviewer. I'll tell you, with all due respect to all the reviewers, I used to watch. But now, if I really want to get a perspective, I watch Ashton's review if he reviewed it. And if he says something is good, I believe him. So these are the things he did achieve. He has two channels, right? I watch both his channels. And this guy obviously is uh, has sponsors and he has business decanting bottles. There's nothing wrong with it. When people are successful, why people hate on them? I don't understand. If you are doing reviews and you don't get paid and the others are happy, why? I mean, if you don't have any gain from what you do the work and that makes other people happy, oh, he doesn't earn, he doesn't get sponsorship, he must be trustworthy. I mean, that's so wrong. Come on, guys. I mean, do you think if you're doing a work, do you want to do it for free all your life? How are you going to eat? How are you going to run your family? Right? So I believe these are the things maybe you need to address, like when other reviewers bash these reviewers, oh, this guy is just talking about it. He's um, faking it or he is uh, promoting. Isn't that what other reviewers are doing as well? They are sponsored. They clearly say every single time, do not take names. Big reviewers. They have been sponsored by FragranceX, Fragrance.net, a lot of these, right? And uh, they bash others for being sponsored. That looks funny. And I feel no respect for that. I'm sorry to say, even if he's senior reviewer to me or they are senior reviewers, I feel as community, when you bash their communities, like the community is no longer as good, but you are maybe one reason, maybe you guys and collectively while hating on new reviewers, that is also a sick practice, right? Because it's coming out of jealousy because those guys like Ashton are getting views, popularity, big beard, big, great reviewer. And I think... Uh, there's another review of the funny one, the one with the beard, Kuba knows. These are the guys with pure golden heart. Okay, and I'll tell you, I suck as a reviewer. Admit it, I am not a good nose. I am just a perfume enthusiast, perhaps just use them and talk about it in general terms. But guys like Ashton, salute, because you achieved it more bigger than Jeremy. Jeremy, what I'll tell you, without any hate, let me just finish with this note. Jeremy was a reason, one of the big reasons why I started my journey. I was influenced so much. I bought fragrances left and right. I wanted to collect all the fragrances you recommend, Amara, Dylan Blue, you name it. I got them all, Prada Lom. And when I used to watch him and I used to like him in, back in 2016, 17, 18, he even mentioned me on Instagram uh, here and there because he noticed I supported him as a brother. But then he became rich and perhaps money changed him. You know, I don't know. I don't know the reality. I don't want to guess. Then I remember, but I remember that he got that Ferrari thing happening and then he had that girl issue and he was threatening a lot of other people and i was like what where is this going even until then it was okay but then he moved to i think usa but now how he is behaving i think it's part of act perhaps just to get views and he breaking bottles jumping dancing in underwear and then going to people being rude i mean this is not the jeremy i recognize so when i say Ashton is the guy. He is the guy. He is knowledgeable. He is fun. He is always interesting. He is full of life and he always reviewing latest fragrances. I love his work and I'm never going to be jealous of him because he's my brother. So I think as reviewers, we have to take a little bit of responsibility if we are representing because people watch us what we do. People look up to us, trust us, you know, respect us. So as I said before, uh, getting viral is not the uh, goal. The goal has to be is the self-respect and dignity right so that's where i'm going to end today so keep me in your prayers and uh, thank you so much once again for all the love you show me just shared a few things about my life i had some family problem uh now it's i'm trying to sort it out i'm trying to chill but i think the two things in life is most important is physical well-being always make sure you are physically well try to take care of your health second thing is try to earn enough money so your life is comfortable otherwise if you don't have money, no one gives two cents about you. This is the reality. And there's a sad reality. Even if your family members, they don't care for you.
okay you are no good if you are just a deadbeat what is that called uh, so yeah learn learn ways to you know take care of yourself and know better right and i am really thankful to all my friends that i have who support me throughout my community and uh, journey they are my um, strength take care keep me in your prayers and love you all just want to share a few things with you take care good night bye 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 <laughs>